Yo guys, welcome back to another one on the channel and today we're going to be talking about some more Black Ops 6 news and today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 6 being paid to win and I'll get into that in just a moment but quickly before we do get into that, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and notifications to turn up any more videos on the channel. Obviously with Black Ops 6 just around the corner, I'm going to be posting a whole bunch of content when that does drop. If you do enjoy today's video, smash thumbs up and I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. So, okay guys, so as we know with Black Ops 6, we have got the traditional prestige system coming back. So you get to the max ranking and then of course when you get to that max level, you then have have the option to prestige and within prestige you go back down to level one and you're in prestige one you then do the whole levels again you prestige again going to prestige two and of course it just keeps repeating all the way up to a mastery prestige and then from mastery prestige you're just going to go from the max level and you're going to keep going all the way up to level 1000 as a master prestige and as we know, in previous years, when you do do this, you get to the max level and you press prestige, you lose absolutely everything. You are basically a level one again, obviously just in the brand new prestige that you've gone to. So all the weapons go back to being locked, your perks are locked, your equipment's locked, everything is locked. And even though everything's locked, you do get a prestige token. And if you don't know how traditional prestige systems work, what this would allow you to do is you use that prestige token to unlock one of the items that you had throughout the entire level. So when you get to prestige one, for example, once you go back to level one, everything is locked, but you can unlock one thing with the prestige token it could be a perk it could be equipment it could be any weapon in the game it doesn't matter what you want to unlock you can unlock that one thing and then that is permanently unlocked throughout the entire game so next time you prestige you're going to get another prestige token and the one thing that you unlocked beforehand is still going to be unlocked and then you've got another prestige token to unlock something else and so as you get through the prestiges everything starts to become a bit more unlocked and a bit more available as soon as you do prestige so if you've got a favorite gun and let's say it is the max level gun that you enjoy using you get it at the last level of the prestige when you do prestige instead of losing it as soon as you go back to level one you can permanently unlock that and then that will stay unlocked for the entirety of the game and that is exactly how black ops 6 is going to work the prestige system is going to stay the same as far as we are aware we will be able to use a prestige token to unlock one thing going into the next prestige to give us that better start or just give us the favorite gun that we like to use or let's say we're on the camo grind and you know that's going to be one of the hardest guns to actually get the camos on you might want to get it out of the way straight away so when you do prestige you choose to unlock that so you can then just get that weapon out of the way as soon as you are going back through the levels However, there's a big twist this year round that we have never seen before, and it is going to be with bundles. Obviously, store bundles throughout Modern Warfare 3, you know, Modern Warfare 2, all of that sort of stuff. As soon as you bought the bundle, you could use that weapon straight away. There was no requirements if you have to unlock the weapon. You could just go ahead and use that weapon straight away. And it also allowed you to get into the gunsmith and change the attachments on each weapon. So you had the opportunity there to go and buy a weapon from the store and you could either choose the attachments that was already on it, you just keep them as they are, or you could go ahead and change the attachments if you've got the gun leveled up, which gave you a really good head start. And in Black Ops 6, if you do buy a bundle, it's going to be exactly the same. If you buy that bundle, you can use that weapon. So instead of having to unlock things by a prestige in or anything like that, or having to get all the way to the max level or anything like that, you could just buy the bundle and use the bundle in the game. And like I said, if you've already had the gun leveled up because you've used it beforehand or you've been picking it up off of the floor or something along those lines, you can then just change the attachments on the one that you've used. And this is where the pay to win element comes into play because of course if you're just playing without buying bundles from the store and you are just naturally prestige and you're going through the levels prestige and through the levels prestige and you're getting one prestige token at a time to unlock one item at a time people that just buy everything from the store are going to have every single different blueprint for each weapon available just to be able to go and equip without them being locked because of course when you've paid for it Treyarch and Activision all of those companies they don't want you to not be able to use it so if you do pay for it you're going to be able to use it whether you've got it unlocked at that point or not you can just go in and use that blueprint print and then of course this is going to be a bit of a problem because if some people are playing without buying store bundles they're going to feel pretty hard done by the fact you can just go and spend a load of money and get everything unlocked if you do want to go that route so the only way that i can see that they balance this correctly is if the blueprints that they give you in store either come with no attachments or they don't come with very good attachments at all and then you just won't be able to change the attachments on that blueprint until you have the weapon unlocked that's the only way i can see it working is if they give you no attachments or just some really poor attachments and then when you unlock the gun you can start changing the attachments but once you change the attachments if it can keep the thing theme of the blueprint that you've bought that'll be really cool because as we saw in modern warfare 3 if you bought a store bundle and you bought a blueprint and then start changing the attachments you just lose the entire blueprint so if they can work this out to be in black ops 6 where they give you a store bundle with either no attachments or really bad attachments and then you can't change the attachments until you've actually unlocked the gun in game no matter what level it's at or if you use a prestige token on it or whatever if you've got the gun unlocked then you can change the attachments on the blueprint and like i said if you can keep the blueprint exactly the same you can change the attachments but the blueprint still looks identical to how you bought it then i I think that's going to be the only way that they can balance this without there being a bit of an uproar in the fact that you know if you do buy all the blueprints and you do buy all the bundles then you've basically got every gun unlocked and the prestige system is pretty much useless to you at that point so I'm hoping they do manage to work this out and they do manage to balance it in the fact that you, go, you can buy store bundles if you like the blueprints, but you're not going to get a massive upper hand and a massive advantage over the players that are just going through the prestige system and unlocking one item at a time. I really hope they manage to get this right. 
But like I said, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on all of this in the comments below. Let me know how you think they should do this in the comments. Do you think it's fair that if you buy something from the store, you can just use it straight away when other players won't be able to? I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. How do you think they can balance it? Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash a thumbs up. And like I said, make sure you are subscribed and notifications turn on because as soon as Black Ops 6 drops, I'm going to be posting multiple videos every single day on the camo grind, the easiest ways to do things, how to unlock things, how to get prestige fast, just everything you guys are going to know, I'm going to be posting on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of that. But I appreciate you guys watching all day 10. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.